guys, thanks for watching Red Dirt Rods. Now, we've been working on a 2015 5.3 L83 Gen 5 engine rebuild, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the Molly pistons that we're using. So, we could have kept the stock pistons because this is a fairly basic rebuild, just prepping it for boost, but because we're using boost, we wanted to go with a forged piston. So these are Molly's Power Pack drop-in pistons. These are really slick. They've got a lot of cool technology that I want to talk to you about. So these are 4032 alloy. And what's really slick about this is that this is a one millimeter ring setup. So the top two piston rings, the, the two compression rings, they're both one millimeter. And so what that means is that you have you have a significantly reduced friction on the cylinder wall because you have just a really thin ring. So less pressure has to be exerted from the ring on the cylinder wall to get a seal. So basically, you have minimal cylinder wear over the life of the engine. One of the reasons that LS engines in the first place have low cylinder wear is because they use a one and a half millimeter ring. This is a half a millimeter smaller, so it's going to be even better. Plus, these are ductile iron rings, which is going to be great for our boost application. And really nice thing about these is these are ready to go. They are a drop-in piston. They do not change the balance of your engine. You don't have to do anything to it. Uh, they are available in standard, which is what we have, 10 and 20 over. So if you're looking to rebuild an LT engine, this is what you want. The issue with LT pistons is that they have a raised bevel almost all the way around. Well, it's on two sides here, a bevel here and a bevel here and it goes all the way to the edge of the piston. So you can't use these pistons to square. You can flip them over and try to use this, which we have done, it doesn't work very well. So what we did is we grabbed an old piston. This is an old uh, LS 5.3 piston, which has the same bore. And this drops in nice and easy. And it's got a flat top. So it works really well. If you don't have one of these, you can use the bottom of your LT piston. Just know that you're gonna have to do a little bit more work to make sure it stays square in the bore. We've got our engine set up. We've got our feeler gauge. Now we're running boost on this engine, so we're going to gap the rings to 0 0.025. It's a 3.78 bore. The base minimum on a turbo motor is uh, the bore times 0 0.006, we're doing 0 0.0066, and so that gets us to about 0 0.025. So we're gonna take the first ring right here. I don't know if you can see this right here, but there's a little M right there. We're gonna, that's the top. So if you have a dot or an M, you need to check with your ring manufacturer, but that's usually the top. These are Molly springs. We're going to drop this in here. We're doing this dry and then we're going to take our piston. Now normally I would use the piston and I would push it in like this from the face but you can't do that with these LT pistons because of the shape of the dome. So we're going to use the back side to square this up. We're just going to make sure that we don't square across the uh, split in the ring. We're going to push these down just till they're flush with the edge of the bottom oil ring. Okay, just like that. Pull it out, set that aside. So right now, these are file fit rings. I'm gonna go ahead and check and see what the gap is now. OK, 
Okay, so it's about 0 .01, so we need to open this up 15 thousandths. So now we'll pull this out carefully. We're gonna take it over to our grinder. Okay, so this is our little grinder setup. This was suggested to me by uh, somebody at a major ring manufacturer, so uh, don't stress out about the sketchy look. So we basically just have a cheap corded drill that we can turn on and set to a certain speed, okay? And then we're just gonna set our ring on here and carefully grind this down. So fire this up first. about right when you're grinding rings you only want to grind one side Okay, so we've ground a little bit. When I'm done grinding, before I test fit, I like to take this very small needle file and just real carefully, just run down the edges. Get the corner. Just to make sure I don't have any burrs. Now we're going to check this back in the engine. Alright, now we're going to take our feeler gauge, which again is .025. Now we're going to check the fit of this. We're really, really close. We're real close. So we just need to do just a slight amount of grinding on this again. Perfect. Try coming up from the, because I want you to be able to see how that should slide in there. Just like that. Let's make magic.